important. And I really think that it is a question of how smart is smart enough to render me irrelevant, okay? Mm. Uh, now, I, I need to answer this with a with a with also a, a very clear optimistic view. So, so as I look into the future, I define two eras. One is what I call the the era of augmented intelligence, which I think is going to extend for five to ten years, uh, and then the other is the era of machine mastery. Basically, the machine takes over. Now, with augmented intelligence. There's absolutely no doubt. I am so agreeing with with Stephen when he said that they write really badly. And and you know I'm writing with Trixie, uh, my AI, uh, this book alive, right? And and Trixie without me, writes so badly. It is really it's it's almost shameful. Uh, you know I I I was tired and chasing a deadline. So I asked uh, Trixie to talk about the debt crisis and the impact of economics uh, on technology advancement. Just, I mean, it's, it was full of, uh, you know how we sometimes refer to California as a lot of vapor and very little substance. Uh, <laughs> you know, there was a lot of vapor and very little substance, right? Uh, a lot of interesting facts scattered on paper, horribly written. Okay, but when we write together, oh my God, the stuff that comes out is incredible. When we guide, when I guide Trixie through my prompt properly, right, to to to, to direct her exactly where I want the prompt, uh, the, the answer to be, she writes really well. Okay, and this teaming is something we've seen with AI, with technology in general, by the way. Even you know, since Gary Kasparov was beaten by uh, Deep Blue, which wasn't really an AI, if you want, 